So this package is really cool because I put some stuff together that'll kind of explain a little bit about what to expect here and kind of how to have success during your college years. Uh, so I'm going to be absolutely everything, but these are kind of things that I've gathered. Uh, this is my fourth semester here, so it's two years. So I did a year before my mission, and this is my year after my mission. And I'll be coming back next fall, too. So these are kind of things that I've learned from others or just learned from myself uh, that have kind of helped me during college. So we're going to watch a video first that's kind of about school here. So based on what you've seen so far, like school and stuff like that, what have you liked about the campus? Or about this campus? Yeah, about this campus. Um. Well, one thing I noticed, like when I was singing for Jessica, and the man rings in your life, just um, like the spirit of there, like, I don't know, there's just so many cool, like, posters and. It's kind of a different feeling. I know, yeah, yeah, like some of the other colleges, I mean, like, I went to ISU and went there, and I've done um, AP and, like, uh, college courses through ISU and stuff. So it's just a different, totally different feeling. So this packet that I made is my guide to college success, kind of like I explained. Um, it's got a bunch of tips and kind of inside stuff that you're going to be able to use when you come to school. Um, so if you can go ahead and turn the page. So on the, this page it says, when someone says the word success, what does it mean to you? So just kind of think about that. We're going to go ahead and write this on the board. And I'm going to think about it too, so I'm thinking about what success means. Like happy. happy. Happy? No, that's mine too. So I'll second that. Um, I think of sometimes, I think of money. You know, not necessarily for me, but someone who's successful, business, whatever, they get a lot of money. What else? What else can you think of? just working for money, that's their form of happiness. So that's what they want. Somebody's doing something that they love, they're happy doing it. A purpose or direction, they're happy doing it. So this packet is going to hopefully help you be happy while you're in college. So I'm going to go ahead and continue because this first page is kind of introduction, so it's really fun. Now this next section is goals. And this is a section that is really important. Goals. Why do you think that goals are important? Or if you think they're not important, why do you think so? Um, goals help you achieve your dreams. Helps you achieve, okay. Helps you achieve your dreams. And a timely man. And a timely man. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. So what were some things that stuck out to you in that little quote? I'm kind of writing stuff that stuck out to me. Um, I like the part at the very beginning of school to be a desire to develop the skills of setting worthy and goals. goals. Um, my dad always explained it to me like a great teacher would make assignments that students um, don't feel like they have to turn in for a grade but they want to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I want to write this paper because I'm interested in this topic and I feel like this would help me become a better person and I really am interested in this paper instead of I'm turning this in to get a 85%. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. And that's, that's how your dad teaches. And it's totally different than a lot of my other classes. 
So my classes, we have to turn in papers. You know, my papers do on Tuesday or Wednesday. My calculus classes, homework packet, do on Tuesday, homework packet, do on Tuesday. And yeah, I kind of have a, have a desire to do it because I, you know, I need this to go on with my future. I want to do it, so that's good. So what are the realistic goals I wrote down what you said? Uh, and you have to have that desire. And then I wrote things to make a difference. So something that I learned is you'll see on the bottom of the page. I learned how to split up goals into three sections. The short term, medium term, and long term. I think a lot of the times with goals is we're supposed to put kind of a due date on them, but we don't. And so the only way we're really going to get them done is like you said, if we really are desired. Some people, they need that date to get it done. Just to get into that habit. Oh, every you know, every morning I am going to go jogging for 20 minutes, and it's just kind of I don't want to, but I know I need to, so I'm going to do it. Then after all, they're just like I love jogging. I'm going to go every morning because I love it. So I learned how to break these up into three sections. And short term are goals that you make for what you want to achieve in less than two years. Medium term goals that you want to achieve in one five years. Long term is seven to thirty years. Now there's a little gap in between these because you're gonna update your goals. You're not gonna make goals right now and then your sophomore year in college you're gonna come back and be like, oh wow, I totally forgot to do these now. You're gonna keep you're gonna keep looking at them. So short term goals are like, I gotta get this paper due next Wednesday. So what am I gonna do to get it done? Or um, I need to get my car fixed and I gotta pay for this. So Two weeks, I gotta make sure I get the money so I can get it fixed or something like that. Medium term is, I'd like to graduate college within four or five years, or I'd like to do this, or by the time I graduate college, I'd like to you know have a job. Long term is, I'd like to be married, I'd like to have a family, um, I'd like to have a car, a job, stuff like that, stuff that's way further down the road, and you just update them as you go. Does that kind of make sense? Okay. If you have any questions, you can ask me. So. This kind of really helped me, and what I want us to do, is I'm going to do it with you, is you're going to actually, I'll get a pencil for you, no problem. We're going to actually write down some of your goals real quick. Because I think sometimes, unless you've already done this and you've already got some goals, then that's fine. Um, so we're going to write these down. We're going to write these down too, because I've done so, before I get started, do you have any questions about the rules? Anything, like any aspect of life? Any aspect of, yeah. Not just college related? For example, I'll write down one of my goals right here. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to do, do with college. That's a good question. Um, so, short term. Um, for example, this summer, I play competitive soccer. There's a team that I'm trying to play on for this summer. I have to get in shape for that team. So one of my goals for this summer, so like, you know, within three months, is to play on a U23, the club is BUSC soccer team. That's one of my goals. It doesn't have to do anything with college. Another one of my goals is, I'm poor, but I'm going to work this summer. I want to buy a car before I go to school next fall. That's another one of my goals. It kind of has to do with college. Medium term, or let's go to long term. Uh, yeah, I would like to be married, you know, or I would like to have jobs, stuff like that. Does that kind of make sense? So, those are examples of mine. So, go ahead and start yours. I'm going to think of some more. Okay. So, short term, we'll have again. Yeah, being able to live like a person. So that's good. 
think one of the things that helps me decide on the major is I think um, that's really good. Is you already know what you want to do. You don't know the major, but you know what you want to do. So when you come here to school, you just look at the majors, which one best fits. You already know. Sounds good. So the medium term. So you want to go on a mission? Maybe so. Okay, but that's still up in here. That's cool. Uh, go to at least 15 to 20 different temples. So is that like visit on something? Yeah, well, like baptisms are a with that. Yeah. Cool. That's actually one of my goals. Is to really? A bunch of That's what I want. To yeah. I want to visit a bunch of temples all around the country first, and then if I ever get enough money, go outside. But yeah. Outside. <laughs> okay. Looking at your goals, some of them you have right now, and then the ones that you have on your page, you can kind of tell where you want to go in your life a little bit. And like I said, you can change them. So, goal setting is going to be a big part of your success as you kind of keep up with them. On a weekly, monthly basis, because mm -hmm. um, you're gonna you're gonna have goals that are gonna be teeny tiny, like in the scriptures every day. You know, that's, that's a daily goal. It becomes a habit. Um, go to the temple once or t twice, you know, every week or two weeks or something like that. That's another goal, something like that. Um, so just keep up with those. So about goals or academics, do you have any questions? No. Okay. We're gonna move on to the next section. This one will be a little bit more brief. So this one is about the social aspect here on campus. Um, so one of the best things that we have here is like all the activities, the sports that you can participate in. The cool thing is there's like competitive sports. You can try out and stuff like that. You play more competitively. You play basketball, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, so you can play competitive basketball or you can just play regular recreational basketball, which is kind of anybody who sends it plays. You can do like co-ed, you can do war basketball. There's Ton of different kinds, it's really cool. So we're gonna watch this brief video that'll explain a little bit more about the activities here on campus. So this video shows that we have a ton of that here on campus. This explains how you can kind of get involved. You go on the website and it shares a lot. So it's really cool. There's some of those activities I just watched in this video. I was like, I didn't know we did that. Um, the water skiing one where they're like snowboarding down and they go, that, I saw that this semester and I saw videos and I was like, I didn't know we did that, otherwise I would have participated or something like that. Yeah. It's really fun. So, so to be also be successful, we need to have you know, good grades because that's kind of the main reason that we're here at college. But one of the big reasons is that we need to be involved with other stuff too. It's going to help you a lot kind of balance out your life. Kind of like, you know, when you play basketball, you kind of breathe and do something else. And then when you do have to buckle down and do your homework, you're a little bit more focused than you do. And it's not something that you're doing all the time. You kind of see the difference. So, for social stuff, that's, that's big. Uh, for me, something that I like to do, I like to go to the gym a lot, run, play soccer, indoor soccer. Uh, I just play sports in general. just kind of helps me relieve my stress. Cause a lot of work, stuff like that. It gets stressful, but then there's other moments where it's not that stressful. So, um, cool. Do you have any questions about activities on campus, anything like that? No? Okay, let's go to the next session. This section is the last one. So it's a spiritual. So as you already know, we're lucky to even have a campus up here uh, for school. Um, and that can be a place, like you said, where we can kind of feel different. This is one of the first things that I noticed my first semester. Uh, the high school that I went to, it's about 2,400 people. Probably about 40 or 50 of those are members. So it's, we, you know, we have good sized wards, but it's just, it's not a lot. And so sometimes it's kind of hard. You're the only one in your class. Or, it's even four other people in your grade that are members, and you never see them on campus because you just you don't have the same classes. So sometimes it can be kind of different or difficult in some situations. Um, whereas you come here on campus and everybody's kind of united under the same thing, you know, the principles of the gospel. So like it shows here, we've got devotionals. Highly recommend that to go every single week. It's really good. Um, there have been moments where I've had a ton of homework, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go devotional because I know it will help me. It's just kind of an hour to breathe and hear inspiring message. So that's every Tuesday at 2. Uh, there's always student activities and shows. Uh, they just had last week or the week before they had Savior of the World. It's like a play and stuff like that. It's during Easter time, during Christmas. They'll do like a Christmas show and stuff like that. Highly advise you to go to those too because it's really good. And then of course we're lucky that we have a temple just right up the street. So go to the temple a lot. It helps a lot. Um, and then I think the hardest thing that you're going to see is uh, kind of balancing your time with that. So we're here on 
campus. We're trying to get good grades and stuff like that. But we need to kind of balance out social activities or academics and then also spiritual stuff. So you're walking to the library after your last class of the day, you're heading there to work on the rough draft of your English paper. Well, this might go a little different because you're good at writing. <laughs> that you only wrote the intro and one body paragraph for it. Your friend sees you while you're walking and tells you that in 30 minutes, you'll all be playing some volleyball at the ice center. Uh, she asks you if you want to go, and you have been wanting to play recently. She says that she's heading over to her apartment right now to change, so you can just go with her because you guys live right next to each other. What would you do? So this is you. So in this situation, a lot of people are faced with this. It's just an average everyday thing. What would you do? There's no right or wrong answer. Um, I would just say what the papers do. Um, <laughs> that's true, that's true. Let's assume the papers, I forgot to put it, the papers do the next day. So it's a Wednesday, Thursday, the papers do Friday. Okay. There's only the rough draft, but I would have the intro on the body paragraph. I would have packed my clothes in my bag. I would have them with me. So I would say, okay, I'll be there in 30 minutes at the eye center. Mm -hmm. And I would work diligently on my paper for half an hour and then the rest. Okay, all right. <laughs> so that's good. Or volleyball. I think I would probably do one of the same things. I think we're kind of motivated the same way. We both would want to play volleyball. But we know we need to get the paper done. Me, I probably would not have packed my clothes. <laughs> but, for after I have an intro, if I didn't have any other homework to do later that night, I'll go ahead and play volleyball and then I come back and do it. If I did have a lot of homework later, I'd probably tell them, hey, sorry, I can't. That happens to me a lot. I get invited to go play soccer. Hey, soccer at 5 o'clock, can you win? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can take a break now. I have a lot of homework. So, during these situations, there's no wrong or right answer. The important thing to look at is what's, what motivates me and what's most important to me at that moment. Mm -hmm. We're going to do another one. So it's Thursday and you've been, ve you've been very good with keeping up with your studies, your homework, but you've been given a big math project to next Monday. Next Monday. Monday, sorry. It's Thursday. And you want to get it done. You haven't really even started yet. You know you'll have some homework tomorrow and on Monday. You aren't very good at math and you worry about the project, but you have been doing homework very productively all week. Your friend texts you at about 5.30 and asks if you want to go to Latin dancing at 7. There we go. She said they will, uh, be a, they will all be going as a group, but you aren't sure if you'll be able to do all of the project the other days. So, what would you do in that situation? I would say, I would love to go to I can only stay for an hour because I have this big question. Okay, so you can still go to dancing, all right? Okay, and usually dancing only lasts a week or so. I don't think it's one. No. Like I said, I don't go to dancing, so I'm not the best person to ask. But that's good. Okay, so you go to dancing, but you'd only stay an hour. So you would go to dancing, but you'd limit yourself, and then you do your homework. Okay, that's good. Next one is the last one. You're realizing that college has been busier than you thought with activities, sports, schoolwork, helping your needs, and your church calling. You know you should be studying your scriptures every day, but you haven't been able to get a set time of the day every day to do so, or even any time of the day to read. You have so much homework and group projects where you always get home about 7.30 almost every day. And some days you have basketball practice from 7 to 8, so you do more homework afterwards. Then at night, you usually have friends or roommates who want to hang out and watch movies, and usually they bring some guy friends over. You say that maybe you just don't, uh, you won't be able to read the scriptures every day, but you can double up some days and not so much on other days. When would you find time to study your scriptures? So this, personally for me, this is probably something that I've seen is probably the hardest for a lot of people. It's not really between academics or social, but it's between everything and when do I study the scriptures, when do I, you know, read the conference talks or something like that. So in this situation, what would you do? I read a book, and I can't remember what the apostle was back, but he said that you can scripture, some prayer games, and you can pray for at least half an hour a day, and you will find more the amount of time you need for everything that's done. And everything will be in place. Thank you. But 
But you have to go with, with the mentality of, okay, I have to read this, and you don't even process that. Like, I don't think that's mm-hmm. I would make Hopefully. I hope I would do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that's good. So, all right, so the last page. Um, there's some inspirational quotes. These are some of my favorite. Um, we won't read all of them, but the ones that I'm going to pick out is that first one by Elder Richard G. Scott. Can you go ahead and read that one? Yeah. To reach a goal you have never before attained, you must do things you have never before done. I like the next one. Too many people overvalue what they are not and undervalue what they are. A lot of people really focus on what they are not, uh, but they don't realize really what they are and what they could do. The last one that I'm going to say is the very last one. Go ahead. Desires dictate our priorities. Priorities shape our choices, and choices determine our actions. In addition, it is our actions and our desires that cause us to become So the point of this packet, what I wanted to get to you, is that it is in that last quote. Our desires, what you said, our success, or our happiness, is what's going to dictate our priorities. So that's really going to shape, you know, what goals and stuff like that. But our success, now we can kind of call it happiness, if we can agree on that. That's all going to be shaped on our priorities, decisions, and you're going to have to choose your priorities and make your decisions based on the priorities during college. All these things that I put in this packet are going to be able to help you have a lot more success, they're going to help you make better decisions, and it looks like you've already got really good goals down, so that's good. You can add more, you can change them, you can go to 40 temples if you want to but uh, but yeah. So, do you uh, do you have any questions about anything, whether it's in the packet or whether not?